need to order uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any call? Mr. Brooks. Here. Mr. Brown. Here. Mrs. Davis. Here. Mr. DeFrancesco. Here. Mr. Giroux. Here. Mr. Gould. Here. Mr. Johnston. Here. Mr. Lynch. Here. Mr. Valeski. Here. All right, we have uh, approval of meeting minutes. Recommend approval of the meeting minutes uh, as listed for July 6th and so, July 9th. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, we have no presentations, but I do, if you'll give me a minute, have uh, a student delegation or student representative uh, recording. Advanced placement. All right, here we Good go. Good evening. My name is Amanda Crowell from the Panther Press. I'm here to update you on what's happening at Sagertown High School. Advanced placement results for 2020 are in. At Sagertown, 45 students took 81 AP exams, and the percentage of students scoring at three or better on the last exam improved significantly from last year. In 2019, it was 49%, and this year it was 62. Sagertown 9 League Baseball team finished their season this past weekend. They went undefeated this season. The administration has been working hard to ensure classrooms are following the social distancing guidelines. The custodians have been working hard all summer to ensure the building is ready to go for the 2020-2021 school year. Christy Mongol has started working as the new guidance counselor at SHS. Her first day in the building was August 12th. Thank you for your time, and thank you for making decisions to keep us safe. We will see you next month. Thank you. Um, we also have uh, Melissa Statman, the union president, has uh, sent an audio file as well. Good evening. In 17 days, teachers will report to our buildings to begin the finishing touches to opening school for the 2020-2021 school year. This summer, teachers have completed training to prepare for teaching our students remotely should the need arise. They have spent time working in their classrooms removing furniture and items so that space between students can be maximized. Teachers want to be with their students in their classrooms, but we want everyone to be safe. The administration has included stakeholders in meetings to solicit input in the final plan. Thank you. The association leadership has worked with Dr. Glasspool and we were able to come together to make accommodations for the exigent circumstances of the pandemic and a shift in the student population to cyber. Tonight you will decide the plan for reopening our schools. This decision will impact our community. We will be bringing a large group of people together indoors in aging buildings and sending them home. That does not come without risk. Watching the health metrics for Crawford County, where we have reached a moderate transmission rate, we need to be vigilant in protecting each other. There are members of our community who are concerned. This is evident based on the number of families who have chosen to place their students in Pancrest Cyber Academy and those who are still hopeful that their students will gain entrance. We ask families to support us by preparing their students. Help us by having your student practice wearing a mask have routine mask breaks, and encourage hand washing. If your student is unwell, please keep them home. Support us in keeping our community safe. Well, obviously you can see I'm still struggling with Zoom and running the meeting and letting folks, oh shoot, I was just closed. All right, um, so that was uh, from Statman from the association and no registered citizens comments, correct Donna? That's correct. All right, uh, we're going to start with the Athletic Committee. Uh, item A, recommend approval to accept the resignation of the following advisor and coach as listed. On behalf of the committee, uh, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the following coaches as listed. 
behalf of the committee, I make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item C, athletic travel, recommend approval of athletic travel as listed. Uh, please understand that asterisk down there is going to uh, appear on all of the travel out of the district. It says administration may cancel this event based on current COVID-19 data trends. Since I've been pretty consistent with not approving out of the county travel, um, I will call upon one of my colleagues to make that motion. So moved, Brooks. Second, Brown. Any discussion? Any roll call? Discussion? Discussion? But considering what's going on and all this directive we're getting on a daily basis, I don't see the, I, I just don't see the reason why we will send kids to play someplace else. You know, if we, if we, either we gotta be consistent and keep them here, uh, which is uh, what I, are we on a green face or a, you know, whatever face we are, it's a lot safer wherever they go. I think that's Warren County though. Where we yeah, just... So that's for that reason, I urge all of you, let's keep our kids safe, just like the uh, individual just mentioned earlier. Of course, I urge to vote no. That's it. To roll call? Obviously, I agree. Roll call, please. Aye. Okay, Brooks? Yes. Brown? Yes. Davis? Yes. DeFrancesco? No. Jero? Yes. Golick? No. Johnston? No. Lynch? No. Valeski. Yes. Pass five, four. All right. Motion passes five to four. Okay. Education Committee, Mr. Brooks. Chairman, recommend approval of the temporary emergency resolution as attached. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the attached health and safety plan and related documents for the 2021 school year. Um, this is the plan that the only document that actually needs approved, that's not it, is the 42 page health and safety plan on the Department of Education guidelines. Um, I would not recommend that parents go to this document for information um, rather they go to the the five page document um, for uh, concise information um, that you know uh, we can modify if necessary uh, based on the board's decision uh, and post uh, on the website and various social media outlets there are also additional documents in here um, a return to official play we had a temporary plan over the summer. This one is uh, falls in line with more of the recommendations. Uh, we also have on here um, a flow chart to help uh, parents and employees know when they should come to school, when they should stay home, when they should seek uh, medical attention. So there's a variety of documents on here uh, in a, a mass protocol as well. The only document is, that's necessary uh, is the health and safety plan. Uh, also required it, um, that Mark will sign tonight is um, a sign off on the 180 days, 990 hour requirement required by section 520.1. So uh, one motion to approve all of these uh, items and that's all I have unless there's other questions. So move Brooks. All right. On behalf of the committee, recommend. You second. <laughs> any any 
board discussion. Too much CO2. I, I forgot my line. <laughs> so I'm not in the video. You want to ride anyway. I was going to say, we know it's Brooks. All right. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. Opposed? Motion passes. Item C. Recommend approval of the letter of agreement with Crawford County Drug and Alcohol Executive Commission for Student Assistance Program uh, for a five-year term. Again, required by the uh, Department of Education. Uh, this is our drug and alcohol program. We'll part of it. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion passes. Item E, teacher manual. I apologize. Item D. Recommend approval of the 2021 Student Rights and Responsibilities uh, and Handbooks as attached. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion on those? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item E, Teacher Manual. Recommend approval of the 2021 Teacher Manual as attached. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item F, Teacher Talk Tool Presentation. I recommend approval to participate in the Teacher Talk Tool IES study as attached. We're not committing to this yet, but just for consideration for our teachers to work uh, with the University of Pittsburgh, um, basically free uh, professional development if we're selected and if we so choose. Uh, it doesn't start until the 21-22 school year. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion passes. Item G, recommend approval to discard outdated and obsolete curriculum books and materials as listed and attached. Just a quick word here, we did ad adopt uh, K-12 ELA series recently, uh, plus we had a lot of old textbooks in and around the district. As we continue to try to make space and maximum our ability to social distance, we have told teachers to get rid of a variety of uh, resources, uh, uh, some used, some unused. Let me rephrase. All unused items, some solicited, some just appear. In other words, when we go and we practice and we do, um, we're going to adopt, do a textbook adoption. These textbook companies send us hundreds of textbooks um, in a variety of grade levels. So all that stuff that we don't currently use that you didn't board approve. That's what we're getting rid of. Thank you. Sorry. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Um, thank you. Uh, Facilities Transportation Committee, Mr. Johnson, Chairman. I just leave this on as a talking point that we are still in conversation with McClure and have a potential for a Guaranteed uh, Energy Savings Act. Um, we have had a faci uh, facilities meeting, committee meeting. We had a meeting on Monday uh, to discuss this uh, in our work session. There was a, about a half hour presentation. And again, we followed up, uh, we're going to follow up with another <coughs> facilities presentation in a couple weeks. Uh, item B, recommend approval to donate the Blooming Valley Bell to the Blooming Valley Museum Group. Have the committee to make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item C. Recommend approval to enter into agreement with the following organizations to provide free public internet service. Blooming Valley Fire Department, Chapmanville Fire Department, Little Cooley United Methodist Church, St. Hippolyte Parish, Benango Volunteer Fire Department. On behalf of the committee, I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I'd just really like to thank those organizations. They were very prompt getting back to us. Just to let everyone know what that is, that is we have right now four uh, exterior Wi-Fi devices on our current school buildings, uh, free to the public to use. We're going to install and pay for wireless internet at those five remote locations. 
that were strategically chosen that one you can get high-speed internet or DSL Two, they have a parking lot and capacity where students and families could pull up and upload and download materials should we move to a hybrid um, uh, schooling program um, and it's also there for anybody else to use it's free and it's filtered and uh, we'll get those installed and over the next two three weeks and be ready for uh, the start of school so I just want to thank those organizations for helping us out uh, let's see here item D recommend approval of the 2021 contracted student transportation drivers as attached they have the committee to make that recommendation second any discussion but I'll be abstaining from that motion Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item E, recommend approval of mm -hmm. parent provided transportation agreements as attached. Have the committee I make that recommendation. Second. Any discussion? Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion passes. Water. Finance Committee, Mr. Brown, Chairman. Item A, recommend approval of the Treasurer's reports as attached. On behalf of the committee, so recommend. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the disbursements as attached. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item C. Recommend approval to amend the 2021 annual tax resolution to impose a 10% penalty for real estate taxes that remain unpaid as of December 31, 2020. This is just a uh, correction. I think we talked about this before. Uh, we're still allowing people to have that discount. But once we turn those taxes over the end of the year as delinquent, they are delinquent. Is that correct, Brian? That's correct. On behalf of the committee, so move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, <coughs> opposed? Motion passes. Item D, recommend approval of the attached agreement with Family and Community Christian Association to sell or purchase meals for pre-K classrooms. On behalf of the committee, so move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item E, recommend approval of the breakfast, lunch, and a la carte prices for the 2021 school year. On behalf of the committee, so move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Personnel committee, Mr. Brooks, chairperson. Item A, recommend approval of the resignations as listed. On behalf of the committee, so move. Second. Any discussion on those? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item B, recommend approval of the following leaves of absence. On behalf of the committee, so move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I'm not sure C. C. Recommend approval to employ Brooke Carey as an elementary teacher assigned to Maplewood Elementary School, effective August 31, 2020. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item D, recommend <coughs> approval to employ Caleb Hines as a long-term substitute art teacher assigned at uh, Sagertown Junior Senior High School. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item E recommend approval to hire the following individuals as listed 
on behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Madam F, recommend approval to transfer Bethany Clark to the instructional aid A2 position assigned to Maplewood Junior Senior High School effective August 31st. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Tenure. Recommend approval to grant tenure to the following professional staff in accordance with the Pennsylvania School Code. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? Let's skip one. Yeah, yeah. we'll come back to it. Go ahead and finish the one you just yeah. doing. Any discussion on that? No instruction. Uh, All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank now you. we'll go back up to G. G, non-instructional temporary assignments. Recommend approval uh, approve the following non-instructional temporary assignments. Excuse me. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item I, recommend approval of the 2021 Pencrest and PAEA Memorandum of Understanding. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item J, recommend approval of the optional PEASER special sick leave in conjunction with the Family First Coronavirus Response Act for individual employee absence. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item K, recommend approval of Exhibit A, pricing for Kelly educational staffing. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. L, recommend approval of the interim resolution addressing the Title IX requirements as listed below. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item N, recommend approval of the following volunteers. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item N, recommend approval of the attached substitute list for the 2021 school year. On behalf of the committee, so moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Policy committee, Mr. DeFrancesco, chairman. Item A, approval of policies. Recommend approval of the policies as listed and attached. 321, political activities. 827, conflict of interest. 918, Title I and parent family engagement. Uh, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Before I make a motion, I would like to, for information purposes, to allow the public to understand what involves us in making a policy, the, the process of a policy. Is that okay? The, the policies that we that we have in the books, we usually meet, the committee meets every month to review them. Some of them might need them to be brought up to date. Some of them, they might be obsolete and need to be removed. And if anybody wants to, to introduce a new policy, the committee discuss it. And uh, <clears throat> if there's any changes, the committee has to go to discuss it and approve it. Either the old ones, the change for the, the existing ones, or the new ones. After that, it's presented to the board as a first reading. What, what's a first reading? The policy is that you have to understand that it's equivalent to the an ordinance that the municipality faces in acts. And what it means, 
the municipality and the school district have the obligation to give time to the public and to, in this case, members of the board to come up with comments. And because we do have a solicitor, the solicitor gets a chance to review if there's any legality and meets all the legal aspects of the, in the policy. And, and that's it. If the uh, solicitor finds some, some <clears throat> something that does not totally meets the legal requirement, then the policy, it, new or old, is, is, is discarded. So now that you know that, I'll move to, uh, re I recommend it to the approval of the, of the committee, policy committee, as presented. Second. Any discussion on this? On 321, um, on the first section, number four, there was some wording issues with it that the last meeting the solicitor had said that he didn't recommend the wording on it, and I'm not sure that a solicitor looked at it again, so I still have concerns with it. It ended up being a compromise in the policy committee meeting. Um, we totally changed number four from what it was, and there's a whole new paragraph in there that's, to me, a little more um, direct and understandable and, and workable. Um, but if, if you would like his opinion, that, that's fine. No, I, I know, like, you know, what Luigi just said is if the solicitor has a problem, then it won't go for a vote. So. Well, you know, I, a, I know that uh, there was a problem last time, and I still have work, work with some of the issues. That's all. Anybody else? Any other comments? You want a roll call? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I can say no by myself, or we do a roll call. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a roll call. Okay. All right. Brooks? No. Brown? Yes. Davis? No. De Francesco? Yes. Jero? Yes. Kulik? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Lynch? Yes. Valeski? Yes. All right, motion passes seven to two. Yes. Seven to two. Item B, first reading policies. Um, the first reading policy 314.1 communicable diseases. I think there's going to be additional work done on this policy. Um, we also, I, earlier we were, we were uh, passed the resolutions for Title IX. We have to, two Title IX uh, related policies that we're going to have to adjust as well. So there'll be some additional adjustments on those. I'd like to make another comment on the first, uh, on the first reading. In the first reading, we, as, as many of you know, we discussed uh, the policy regarding lawyer to uh, oh. He uh, was discussing in the committee, and we asked the, so the, the board, asked the, the uh, solicitor to review it. Locally, you know, he didn't have to wait 30 days, you know. He was able to review it pretty quick, and he came up with a, with a, <coughs> with a, a, a legal opinion. And uh, at this time, you know, it's, <clears throat> I, am, I agree with, in part, there's a one part that needs to be checked again. And, and, and I will do, I will make some in, in, inquiry in that respect. So that's why you don't see there, that domain is dead. It's just not gonna be there. It might take a while to find out what the story is. Thank you. That's it. From the Safety Committee, uh, Mr. Brown, Chairman, uh, please understand if we're not talking about the Safety Committee uh, here publicly, it just means we haven't approved anything. We are constantly focused on safety, uh, be that uh, the health and safety of our, uh, our students or our physical structure. So we're constantly working on it. Uh, Career and Technical Center, uh, Mr. Johnson, Representative, do you have a report? Uh, I don't have a report, but we did meet at the uh, technical center with all three school boards discussing our 
plans to reopen the school so we can all be on the same page. Uh, they demonstrated some of the uh, techniques that they're going to use to be uh, disinfecting the buildings and what have you. It was a good meeting. Thank you. Uh, Intermediate Unit 5 report, Mr. Brooks, Representative. There was no July meeting. PSB Legislative Report, Mr. Goulet, Representative. I don't have any report. PS, a PSBA is all about COVID-19, as you might imagine. Correct. And we've certainly beat that horse forever and we'll continue to do so. so. Absolutely. Let's not beat that horse. Uh, <laughs> legislative, oh, I'm sorry, no business. Board member remarks. Board member remarks, uh, let's start with Mr. Brown. Oh, yay. Oh. Well, first off, congratulations to the uh, new hire and the teachers who are received tenure this month. Uh, thank you for their hard work and uh, I'd like to say congratulations to the new hire. Hopefully your year ends up being a good one. Uh, with all the COVID going on and, and as Mr. Bullock said, we beat this horse to death. Uh, we're anxious to see our, our kids get back to school. Teachers are anxious to see the kids come back in. Uh, for many of these teachers, they haven't seen these students since March. So the level of excitement I know, the teachers that I know is very high. Uh, let's just, you know, let's pray for a good year. Let's hope that this nonsense uh, gets taken care of soon. And uh, these kids need to be in school. It's important for them to be in school, not just for the education, but for other reasons. So let's just, let's just have a good year. That's it. Um, just to add to what Mr. Brown said there, um, yeah, it's, um, this year is going to be different for sure from normal, but it's very important uh, that the kids are back in school, I think, um, and I think it's going to be good, um, so that's it. Well, new school year, whole new way of going to school, so it's going to be a steep learning curve for all of us. I hope uh, everybody works, works hard at trying to make it all work. I just, um, I think I want to take the time to thank, I, ju I just can't thank the administration enough um, and my fellow board members for the time that has gone into making decisions since starting the school year. Um, they're, they're difficult decisions, being out in the community and meeting with different families and the needs of different families, it's, it's a complicated, um, it's a complicated time for everybody, but I think the board came together and the administration to make a plan that best fits the district as a whole, but I would encourage parents if you don't feel it's the right thing for your child, that's that's your call. Um, I'm excited to see the kids started in the building, and I'm excited to see those who um, feel it's a better choice to stay home and to learn their new way of life and their new way of learning this year. And just hope and pray that it's successful for everybody, no matter what it throws at us, because there's definitely going to be curves. So, thank you all. I don't know who we pointed at. Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> Luigi. Luigi. You. Oh, we go You're this up. way. I guess. Yeah. Just one, keep two, guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that we're going through tough times. And, and the tough times came about because the governor decided to, to issue a disaster declaration. You know, I, I've been doing a lot of research, and I say, what? There is a disaster declaration to do with the virus or the health of the health of uh, the general health of the population of Pennsylvania. Well, the disaster, disaster declaration are concurrent with the federal disaster declaration, mainly because the, every state that goes through disaster, we're talking about a natural disaster. Pennsylvania in the past they had a lot of dis natural disasters like uh, tornadoes, like like we got here a few years back, snowstorms, floods, and, but in that disaster declaration, it was geared mainly for a natural disaster. Now, is this is this virus a natural disaster? I don't know. In my opinion, I don't think so because I'm old enough to live through a lot of viruses, problems, pandemics. Okay. So I like to ask the government. 
right there. Why did you choose governor? This is Luigi De Francesco, school board director of the Pancras School District. And I'd like to know why you decide to use the disaster declaration law, chapter 73, instead of using the health codes that exist already to protect the people from any infectious disease. Now, your own, your own PIMA gives us a guidance and exactly what to do in a, in a disaster emergency. And like I say, even PIMA describes the emergency right here. This is the declaration process, <coughs> disaster declaration process that the PIMA, your office, issues. They want to know about the incidents that occurs, like a tornadoes, damages that occur due to the natural disasters, and then we then they come down with assessment of the damage. And the idea is that we have to protect the population from economic disasters. Now, <clears throat> what I'd like to know is why haven't you this, the, utilize the disease prevention control law of 1955, which is still in the books, that strictly and, and very clearly tells the health department what to do in case of any contagious diseases. Then there is a chapter, the title 28, chapter 27, sub chapter C. This chapter, uh, <clears throat> governance of the com communicable diseases in children and staff in schools. Every school district already is doing that. If somebody has a, is a, come down with a, with a flu, well, something the school district take care of the child and make sure that the flu or the, the, the virus contaminates the, uh, the healthy kids. Now, unfortunately, the disaster declaration had a lot of causes and effects of the disaster of the declaration itself. We have an economic downfall. The parents don't know what to do with the kids, what's going to happen if they're going to be safe and going, but send them to school, you know, because definitely we, we, this board wants to have the children back to school. We got loss of income. People are not working and then earning money. And whatever they get from un unemployment, close to whatever bonus the federal government decides to give, to give us, is not enough. As a matter of fact, in today's tribute, there's three pages of people that could not afford three pages. One, two, three, and a half. People that were not able to pay the property tax because they're not making money. And who loses? Who loses? The school district will lose, and everybody else will lose. And then, of course, you got the uh, the health problem where suicide is going up, and depressions have abundant. Then you got loss of revenues to the Commonwealth, the counties, the municipality, and of course the school districts. Now, the cause and effects for not enforcing the disease prevention control law of 1955 in, in uh, Title 8, Chapter 27, is that the spread of the COVID-19 was not controlled. Now, those health codes strictly require the health department to isolate the people that are sick to make sure they don't contaminate anybody else. It doesn't give you the right to put contaminated people into nursing home. And, and the health, the, your health secretary did that, and people died. There were unnecessary deaths. Now, the, uh, your disaster declaration is going to expire this month. And I will recommend, which I'm nobody, I'm just a citizen that pay tax, just like everybody else. But the people like they're getting tired of being told what to do and not to do, wearing masks all the time, you got it. People that are not sick and healthy, 
and we require to wear a mask. Well, of course, you don't see me wearing one, because if I put it on, I won't be able to talk. So I'm going to police. You know that the Constitution of the Commonwealth gives you only the right and the duty to enforce the existing law. It doesn't give you any rights to create any new ones. And that's what you're doing. Right now, yes, okay, but everybody will listen to you. And all the orders, they have no law and basis in law. So please, let's work together and get the people back to where they were before. And our kids in need an education, contact the education. Because in the long run, if we don't give the education, it's going to be inside for the rest of their lives. That's all I have to say. Back to um, first of all, Governor Wolf, if you're watching or listening, turn off your device and get back to work, please. Um, second of all, uh, I think there's a lot of very, very smart lawyers and legislators in Pennsylvania that if Governor Wolf had broken laws by now, somebody would have done something about it. Uh, do I agree with a lot of the decisions he made? No, I do not. Is everybody flying by the seat of their pants because this hasn't happened in 102 years? Yes. So I have, I have trouble criticizing. You just have to live with, it is what it is, as our president said. But um, back to Pencrest. I'd like to thank the administration, Dr. Glasgow in particular, for putting together this comprehensive plan, uh, keeping my fingers crossed and praying that we have a good year and that it continues. Uh, I would urge the parents, talk to your kids. Have them, have them adhere to all the guidelines, whether they agree with them or not. Just, it can't hurt. You know, wear the mask. Stay away from people, your girlfriend, whatever. Um, just urge them to follow the guidelines because that's the best way that we can keep our schools open this year. Um, I know that we have very dedicated teachers, principals, uh, support staff, they will they will keep your kids as safe as humanly possible. Uh, are there risks? Yes, of course. But our people will keep your kids as safe as they possibly can be. Uh, I firmly believe that. Uh, the only other thing is, uh, as a former teacher, I want to congratulate the new hires and, like Mr. Brown said, um, congratulate the Tenure teachers, uh, that's that's a big deal. That's a lot of work, and um, they deserve congratulations for that. And um, have a nice rest of August, and uh, that's all I have. Um, thank you. First, I'd like to apologize to my fellow board members. I know sometimes I go on long. I'd like to apologize because I know what that feels like now. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll sure now my remarks and I will going forward. So um, I just like to say that uh, it really took a, a, a great effort. There's not just the nine school board members here. We agreed with the nine school board members at Crawford Central and the nine school board members in Conneaut and the three superintendents to come up with this deal. Um, and I think that it truly reflects all of Crawford County in our region. Um, a lot of the choices that everyone had to make are, it's the best of bad choices, and I think that, that we've really done a great job giving people options and coming up with a plan that reflects us. Um, we have to deal with reality of, of the choices that we have, and you know, the school boards always deal with things from other agencies that don't have to deal with it. Here's where the rubber meets the road. And uh, the school board administration, our staff, um, you know, our staff, our teachers, our support staff, they're all ready to get to work. And it's just, it's just great to see people coming together wanting to get these kids back to school because I know that we don't often talk about anything but COVID, but beyond COVID, kind of what Mr. Brown was, was alluding to, there's other things that school really helps out with. And there's other issues that coming to school gives our kids more support and keeps them healthier than not coming to school. So 
I really want to say we should all be really proud of the work that, that all three districts put in. And for this to succeed, we're going to have to understand that guidance changes. Some change, we got new at 520 today. Um, and parents and staff are all going to have to be flexible. And we're all going to have to be on the same page to keep the schools open and keep us going in the direction we want to go. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Glasspool and the administration. Uh, it's been challenging several months for them with lack of guidance from our government, constantly changing plans, and I know it has to be frustrating for them. Uh, they've done an awesome job trying to put this back, train back on the track, and we're looking forward to a successful year. I'd like to thank the teachers and the support staff for their willingness to come back um, and try and re-rail uh, this train. Uh, I'm looking forward to a prosperous year for everybody. Uh, I would like to encourage the, the staff and the students, if you're sick, please stay home. Don't bring it into the school. Uh, we're just looking for a healthy, happy, school year. All right. Um, something you guys missed. I want to I want to congratulate the retirees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for thinking. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> thank you for your time and service. Um, thank you for to the administration for the countless hours that I know you've put in. Um, I want to thank the, the public for their support and and also their criticism um, because I mean on my way here I was on the phone with a person kind of criticizing what we're doing and I mean if you if you're open-minded and, and hear other people's point of view I mean it, it makes you think a little bit um, not to open up any kind of can of worms or anything but the plan we approved tonight is our plan on August 13th at 7.48 p.m. Um, it may, may not change. I mean, and that's what I've told people who come up to me on the street, in the grocery store, <coughs> wherever. Yeah, we're planning to open schools and this is, you know, we have a plan. That can change. I mean, anything can change. It can, you know, we don't know. But as of 7.49 now, this is still our plan. You know, so, uh, but I want to thank people for and it sounds weird for thanking people for criticizing, but I mean, it gives you a different perspective and it, it makes you maybe think of things that you didn't before that, that they are concerned about because a lot of people have a lot of different concerns and, and I appreciate that just because I'm healthy, my family's healthy, that doesn't mean everybody's is. So, you know, it, it makes you really think about things in a different way sometimes. So I appreciate that and thank the people for that. And that's really all I have. Uh, announcement, uh, executive session. We met in executive session on August 10th and 13th for personnel and safety issues. All right. Motion to adjourn. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs>